Linus Torvalds has never been known for holding back his opinions, and when it comes to Linux security modules or LSMs, his frustration has been simmering for years. To understand why Linus appears tired, annoyed, or even fed up with the current state of Linux security modules, you first need to understand how Linux itself is built, how security evolved inside the kernel, and why LSMs became both a powerful feature and a constant source of conflict. This story is not just about security code, it is about philosophy, engineering trade-offs, competing corporate interests, and Linus's deeply held belief that complexity is the enemy of reliability. Linux was never designed as a security-first system in the modern sense. When Linus started the kernel in the early 1990s, the goal was simple, build a Unix-like operating system that was fast, portable, and pleasant to hack on. Security in early Linux followed the traditional Unix model, with users, groups, permissions, and later capabilities. This model was simple, understandable, and worked well enough for most use cases at the time. As Linux began to spread beyond hobbyist systems into servers, enterprises, and government environments, the security expectations changed dramatically. Suddenly, Linux was running critical infrastructure, handling sensitive data, and powering massive cloud environments. The old Unix permission model was no longer enough for every scenario. This is where Linux security modules came in. The idea behind LSM was actually quite elegant. Instead of baking one rigid security model directly into the kernel, the kernel would expose a set of hooks at critical points. These hooks would allow external security modules to enforce additional rules, such as mandatory access control, without rewriting large parts of the kernel. In theory, this meant flexibility. Different environments could choose different security models. So Linux, AppArmor, Smack, Tomoyo, and others could all coexist as options, each tailored to a specific philosophy or use case. From an architectural perspective, Linus initially accepted LSM because it aligned with a core Linux principle. Keep the kernel generic and let policy live outside where possible. The kernel provides mechanisms, not policy. LSM hooks were mechanisms. The policy was in the modules. But as time went on, the reality turned out to be far messier than the original design promised. One of the first problems was that LSM was never truly designed for stacking multiple security modules cleanly. The early LSM framework effectively assumed that one major security module would be active at a time. This was fine when SEL Linux dominated and APARMER was considered an alternative. But as more modules appeared, each with different needs, developers wanted to stack them. For example, they wanted SI Linux plus another module for integrity, or APARMER plus a custom corporate module. Suddenly, the assumptions baked into LSM started to crack. Every time someone tried to extend LSM to support new use cases, the kernel code grew more complex. Hooks multiplied. The data structures grew larger. Special cases were added to support one module or another. From Linus's perspective, this was a red flag. Ha, he has always believed that complexity is a form of technical debt. And in the kernel, technical debt becomes bugs, performance issues, and security vulnerabilities. Ironically, the very system designed to improve security was making the kernel harder to reason about. Linus's frustration is not with security itself. He has repeatedly stated that security matters. What he dislikes is security theater, unnecessary abstraction, and designs that prioritize theoretical purity over practical engineering. Many LSM discussions, in his view, drift into ideology. Developers argue about perfect models, complete mediation, and absolute isolation, while Linus is asking a simpler question. Does this make the kernel better, faster, and more reliable for the majority of users? C Linux is often at the center of this debate. C Linux is extremely powerful, but also extremely complex. It enforces mandatory access control with fine-grained policies that can control almost every interaction on the system. This power comes at a cost. Writing, auditing, and maintaining SI Linux policies is hard. Debugging SI Linux issues is hard. Performance overhead exists, even if it is small in many cases. For enterprise distributions backed by companies like Red Hat, this complexity is acceptable because they have teams dedicated to managing it. For Linus, who thinks about Linux as a global project used by everyone from embedded devices to supercomputers, this raises concerns. 
Linus has criticized the idea that the kernel should bend over backwards to support increasingly complex security frameworks that only a subset of users truly understand. When kernel developers add hooks or change internal APIs to satisfy LSM requirements, those changes affect everyone. They affect file systems, networking, memory management, and driver code. <laughs> Each additional hook is another place where bugs can hide. Each additional abstraction layer is another obstacle to understanding how the kernel behaves. Another major source of Linus's irritation is the way LSM development sometimes happens. Kernel development is built around consensus, code review, and incremental improvement. Linus expects developers to justify changes in terms of concrete benefits and measurable impact. In some LSM discussions, proposals arrive that are large, invasive, and justified primarily by security models rather than real-world kernel needs. When Linus pushes back, it can sound harsh, but his underlying concern is consistency. He does not want the kernel to become a playground for experimental security architectures. There is also the issue of maintainability. LSM code often touches core kernel paths. When something goes wrong, it can be very hard to debug because the security decision is made in a module, but the failure manifests elsewhere. Linus has repeatedly complained about bugs that turn out to be caused by LSM interactions, especially when they involve subtle permission denials or unexpected behavior changes. From his point of view, this is unacceptable. If a feature causes mysterious failures that only experts can diagnose, then the feature has failed at a fundamental level. Over the years, Linus's tone toward LSM has shifted from cautious acceptance to visible exhaustion. He has expressed annoyance at repeated attempts to expand LSM in ways that make the kernel more complex. He has rejected patches that he felt were over-engineered or poorly justified. He has complained about developers trying to turn LSM into a general-purpose policy engine rather than a narrowly scoped security mechanism. Each of these moments adds to the perception that Linus is tired of dealing with Linux security modules. It is important to note that Linus is not alone in these concerns. Many kernel developers share his skepticism. They worry about the long-term cost of LSM complexity. They worry about performance regressions and hot paths. They worry about the difficulty of refactoring kernel code when LSM hooks are everywhere. But Linus, as the final arbiter, becomes the public face of that frustration. Another angle to this story is corporate influence. Many LSM features are driven by corporate needs, especially in enterprise and government environments. These users demand strong isolation, auditing, and compliance features. Companies that sell Linux distributions invest heavily in security modules because their customers demand them. Linus, however, does not work for one of those companies in the same way. His job is to protect the kernel as a whole. When corporate priorities push the kernel toward complexity that benefits a minority at the expense of the majority, Linus pushes back. This tension creates friction. Security developers sometimes feel that Linus does not appreciate their work or the importance of their goals. Linus, on the other hand, feels that they underestimate the cost of their changes. This cultural clash has played out repeatedly on the Linux kernel mailing list, often in blunt and sometimes explosive exchanges. The stacking of LSMs is a perfect example of this dynamic. From a security perspective, stacking makes sense. Different modules can handle different aspects of security. From a kernel perspective, stacking multiplies complexity. Every hook must now consider multiple modules ordering matters, interactions become unpredictable. Linus has repeatedly questioned whether the benefit justifies the cost. His skepticism is not theoretical. It is based on decades of experience watching complex features turn into long-term maintenance nightmares. Another subtle issue is that LSMs can give a false sense of security. A system with SI Linux enabled may be perceived as secure, even if the policies are poorly written or outdated. Linus has hinted at this problem by criticizing security features that look impressive on paper but are fragile in practice. He prefers simple, robust mechanisms that fail predictably. In his view, a smaller attack surface and simpler code often provide better real-world security than an elaborate framework that few understand. As Linux continues to dominate servers, clouds, and embedded systems, the pressure to improve security will only increase. This means LSMs are not going away. Linus knows this. His frustration is not about removing LSMs entirely, but about keeping them under control. He wants clear boundaries, minimal hooks, and a strong justification for every change. When those conditions are not met, 
his patience wears thin. There is also a human factor here. Linus has been maintaining Linux for over three decades. He has seen countless technologies come and go. He has dealt with endless debates, many of which repeat the same arguments with different names. From that perspective, it is understandable that he is tired. LSM discussions often revisit old issues, how much policy should be in the kernel, how generic the hooks should be, how much complexity is acceptable. For Linus, these are questions he feels he has already answered many times. Despite the frustration, Linux security has improved enormously. LSMs have enabled use cases that would have been impossible otherwise. Seal Linux has protected systems in hostile environments. AppArmor has made confinement more accessible. Integrity modules have helped secure boot chains. Linus acknowledges these successes, even if he does not always say it explicitly. His criticism is about cost-benefit balance, not about denying the value of security work. In recent years, Linus has occasionally sounded more resigned than angry. Instead of explosive rants, there is a tone of weariness. He still enforces his standards, still rejects patches, still argues for simplicity, but there is a sense that he is fighting a constant uphill battle. The Linux ecosystem is larger and more diverse than ever. Security demands are higher than ever. The kernel is under pressure from all sides. In that environment, it is no surprise that LSMs, as a focal point of complexity and controversy, become a source of fatigue. Ultimately, the story of Linus Torvalds being tired of Linux security modules is not a story of rejection, but of tension. It is the tension between flexibility and simplicity, between security models and kernel engineering, between corporate needs and community values. Linus stands at the center of this tension, trying to keep Linux stable, fast, and maintainable while the world demands more features, more controls, and more guarantees. Whether you agree with Linus or not, his perspective forces an important conversation. Security is not just about adding layers. It is about understanding trade-offs. It is about recognizing that every line of code has a cost. Linux security modules have brought undeniable benefits, but they have also tested the limits of what the kernel should be responsible for. Linus's fatigue is, in a way, a reminder that even good ideas can become problematic when they grow without restraint. As Linux moves forward, this debate will continue. New security threats will emerge. New compliance requirements will appear. Developers will propose new modules, new hooks, and new abstractions. And Linus Torvalds will continue to ask the same hard questions he always has. Is this really necessary? Does it make the kernel better? And is the complexity worth it? His tiredness is not a sign of giving up, but a sign of someone who has spent decades protecting the integrity of one of the most important pieces of software in the world.